does a lot of pool work. Pat Musi Racing Engines under the hood there. Kemp Brothers Concrete Plumbing, Flying A, Yanko Chevrolet, and Jerry Bickle Race Cars on board. Johnny Camp, the Yanko Camaro. It is the Battle of the Nitrous Wars continuing on. Rear Morrison and Pat Musi. Those are the two engine builders that power these drivers down this racetrack here today. Keith Haney, an 872 cubic inch rear Morrison power plant. And the uh, chance to, well, I should say Brian had the chance to stop down at rear Morrison shop, do a shop tour down there in Texas. And they uh, visited us at that first race of the season. Always good to see them. And Pat Musi, he is at every race. And a lot of cars, plus obviously his daughters are racing. So a guy that is uh, fully involved in it all. And Johnny Camp, the concrete pumping team over there on the left-hand side. It takes a team to concrete pump. It does. And, you know, at 43 years old, I mean, that's, I would say that's pretty young. And Keith Haney on seven dealerships already. He's an amazing gentleman, no question very about that. Business guy. He's very, very proactive and very busy with his family, the kids, coaching. You, If you followed Keith Haney's schedule for two days, you'd be wiped out. I probably would end. I'm wiped out. <laughs> you know? So yeah, it's just one of those things. But here we are. Top arms lit. Johnny Camp and Keith Haney. Zero. Johnny Camp at 198 miles an hour. Johnny Camp goes to the top spot by six thousandths of a second. And look at the 60 foot. I'll tell you what, the number's early. 9.63 seconds for 60 foot. A 256 to the split is making plenty of hay. He goes 3 to 1, 198. And for Tatman Electric and Jerry Biggle Race Cars, Johnny Camp gets the job done. Well, side by side, 380s uh, pair there for both of those. Keith Haney and Johnny Camp. Johnny going to the top spot I was just talking about by literally six thousandths of a second. The racetrack is there. The weather conditions are pretty decent. I would say that anything the humidity might be a little high in a day. You can know it wasn't a two hundred star rubber, you got this baby, it's working. Well, you know, Brandon Fleischer, Brandon Pez, uh Rio Morrison Tire, and uh of course Larry Jeffrey race car. This car's never not went down the racetrack. And if we hold together on the motor side and some of those small issues we've had in the last, you know, three or four races here, man, last night was something I, I was crying and almost, I mean, I did. It, I've been looking for 200 for a long time. And Rear Morrison and Brandon Schweitzer and that whole team back at their shop and all my dealerships and Lucas Oil and all, all of them, they just, man. I was announcing in the tower and I got goosebumps and Big Don was right beside me. I do too. I mean, I just went 384, but it's not like last night. You no. Know? Three eighty four, you know, he just put it I'm sure Brandon, I said, Brandon, what'd you put in it? He goes three eighty four. No, he didn't tell me anything. He I got you. Shot nod his head. You just write the checks. I got you. <laughs> Good job, man. Dynamics, racing junk, and Larry Jeffers race cars all on board with the seven dealerships that keep the owns. He is in the danger zone at 388. Can you believe being a 380 run puts you in the number 15 spot, 188 on speed? Could have thought it. Woo, not me. But again, I don't think a lot of things. Uh, Keith Haney, your number 10 qualifier, 384. Or I think backwards a little bit. Well, I have at another least you for think it. something. I, uh, <laughs> what I'm not good at is... Uh, I think before I speak. Usually I speak before I think. Uh, well, you know. Then I think afterwards. I think you have relatively good instincts. Sometimes. <laughs> no, oh, I man. think you have excellent instincts, but that's just me. That's so, Ben Harper, Keith Haney on board here. Qualifying session number two. Swipes Dynamics Pro Nitrous, the big purge for Billy Harper. Dennis Radford on board this weekend with Billy, always in support of the Dodge products, 872 inches of Dodge power under the hood for the Viper, the number 15 car, 388, 188, but Haney, I think Haney wants to move up, the big rear Morrison power has something to say. Yeah, Billy Harper, I know he can do it too, one of the, uh, obviously, 172 cubic inch Dodge, the hole in the nitrous here at Schweitzer Dynamics Pro Nitrous, and uh, the Keith Haney ride over there, a guy who you know, went 200 miles an hour yesterday in, in uh, testing, that was a big deal, and uh, truly an all-around good guy. Brian Olson had some good times with him uh, doing an interview yesterday. I think they uh, even did an interview. No, it was an interview today on 
the uh, quarterback's top end zone, which was way cool. So he's on the starting line right now. Haney left, Hartley right. Chevrolet Camaro versus Dodge Viper. For the Harper Industries, Dodge there, that 872 cubic inch power plant is going to have some damage on it. And there is uh, some front end body damage on Billy Harper's car too. It, it, I think it took the scoop with it and lifted up that front end. You seen a whole lot of flame and everything pop out underneath of that race car. Tough deal there, they were on a pretty decent start. 972.60 went to 600 at the split and things were over by then man so for a 732 for keith haney at 79 and 428 and 131 for billy harper we'll move on to our next pair yeah sitting here with brad cole man that was a uh that was a big boom wasn't it sure. yeah it was <laughs> he's, he's gonna be the next announcer as you get the ship owner Seven dealerships strong, and the electrician out of Virginia for Johnny Franklin. And hello, man, you know the top teams, the top engine builders, the top car builders are all on the starting line because it is Nitrous Wars here at Gateway Motorsports Park. Final qualifying session. If somebody can go into the 60s, watch the guy possibly left side, Tommy Franklin, 942 cubic inches strong at Pat Musi Power. He's going to have to turn the wick up here. Tommy Franklin is uh, over 6 hundredths of a second away from going into the 60s with his best run of 376.9. Keith haney has been, I think, struggling just a little bit to get that car to go A to B, 384 at 198. The speed's there. The ET's a little off, though. So Judy Franklin will roll her husband Tommy into the beam. She backs away. Keith Haney is going to do business here right side. The pre-stage pumps come up. We're about ready to drop the hammer. Old school, new school. Bow ties, a pair. for Keith Haney and Travis Harvey. It's one versus 16. The fastest car, the slowest car. In qualifying. Travis Harvey, the Carolina kid from Elon, North Carolina. The CK Motorsports 2014 Camaro. Back in the Sonny Leonard. 959 cubic inch. Motor there, right side. Your attention, please. We need Huddleston Performance Pro Junior to the lanes. Him, Pro Juniors to the lanes, please. Pro Juniors. We need the Hoosier Tire, CK Motorsports Boone Racing, and Robert Hayes for Travis Harvey. Man, oh man, is that kid fast. Watch this. Harvey rolls in. Pre-stage Bob's land. Haney's in. Can this be the upset of the round? We're about to find out. Man, oh man, Travis Harvey got off the starting line second by a mile because Keith Haney dropped it at 009. 376, best run of the weekend for Keith Haney when he needed to at 201 miles an hour. But Travis Harvey is seven, uh, eight thousandths of a second away from going into the 60s. That was a huge run here in round number one for your number one qualifier.